Hey guys, welcome to Make It Dairy Free. I'm Larissa. I am Andrew. And today we are back with a, another Trader Joe's haul grocery store taste test challenge type of thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's, that's what we're doing here. We've, um, we've done the, this is probably like our fourth one, right? Fourth one as fourth in- Fourth Trader Joe video. I think so, I don't know, I lost count to be honest with you. Yeah, so this is basically just everything new that we could find at Trader Joe's. I guess this is winter, spring. <laughs> yeah, so Trader Joe's basically switches up things almost every season. So we may visit this, we do visit this grocery store more often than others in order to provide what's new and what's on the market. Yeah, so I think that I ended up with about 20 different things, which is much lower than our normal hauls. Yeah, for sure. Um, but somehow this video is still probably gonna be super long <laughs> because that's just what we do. Yeah, maybe. Well, I guess we'll see what happens. I'm, I'm, I'm excited because I, I really, this time I really don't know anything. I didn't even see you come back from like the grocery store. Yeah, I like came back and like threw everything like in the fridge yeah. or freezer or whatever. So I have wherever. no idea what's, what's what. <laughs> or maybe I'm not excited at all. <laughs> There's nothing with mushrooms, so. Okay, cool. That I know of. That, you know, it's already a plus in my book, so <laughs> we're good. All right, so we are going to split this one up into what did we say? Uh, I think breakfast. Yeah. Um, we're skipping lunch. Yeah. Um, we're doing some snacks. Yes. And then we're doing dinner. Yes. All there's, right. There's no dessert, so. All right. Well, now it's now it's back down. It's you know, you you went up true. with the mushrooms, and then now no. <laughs> See, I'm, I'm I'm not even doing this. I'm, you just go walk away. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I will be back with the whole taste test. <laughs> just joking. We'll be back. With the whole taste test, With the both whole of us. Yes. Yeah. Um, <laughs> it's like we're we're confused on what to do here. No. I'm really surprised you haven't said anything about my beard. I am ignoring you. Why? Because you look insane. This is uh, you, I wanted to be like the genie from from Aladdin. I was inspired. I think I'm gonna cut my head bald and then grow one of those. You kind of have the ponytail going yourself. You just gotta shape up the top. Let's roll into the next section. All right, we are back with, we're back. We're just starting. <laughs> we <laughs> we are one. here with breakfast. Um, we have six different things to try. And um, I get, well, we're not trying one of them. So I guess we'll get that one out of the way first. Um, this is Plant Folk Coconut Creamer, original flavor. This is a brand new product at Trader Joe's. Um, it, it's a creamer. We don't drink coffee, but we wanted to show you guys that they have it. Um, we will say that sometimes um, if something calls for like a like a heavy cream or something that's not getting whipped um, and we want to try the recipe, sometimes we'll use a creamer because it is thicker than just like a plant-based milk. Um, so just keep that in mind. If you also don't drink, drink, drink. <laughs> Drink coffee, but you need something to fill in that placeholder. Um, this can be a good sub for that. So, um, the next thing, you have Tanya going. Yes. If you did not watch our last video, apparently I uh -huh. learned that our toaster has a name and her name is Tanya. Tanya, hey girl. So Tanya is going over there that we will be trying in just a second. Don't hate on Tanya. Okay, um, so can you open this for me please? Yeah. Um, so this is Trader Joe's new grainless granola. Um, it's, I thought you said brainless. <laughs> grain. Oh, okay. Grainless. I was just, I was confused. Yeah. Um, so it says vegan and gluten free right on the package. This one does have coconut and almonds inside of it. I didn't mention um, this, but it's coconut creamer. It also has coconut in it, but that's all for that one. Um, so I like the fact that this was grainless, like it's gluten free for all of our gluten free friends out there. Yep. Um, and I thought that we could try this. I mean, I guess we could have just tried it by ourselves, but I got yogurt by ourself, by itself. I cannot talk today. I, you, <laughs> this video is going to be long. You, you're right. Um, this is actually one of our favorite uh, vegan yogurts. It, it is Trader Joe's vanilla cultured coconut milk. It looks like this. Did we have this one in that video? The yogurt video? Yes, right? Uh, yeah, I'm pretty yeah. sure we did. If you guys saw our yogurt video, you know that we are not a fan of very many yogurts. Tanya. <laughs> but um, we like this one. So I thought that we could try it with the yogurt. You can like immediately see there's oh, like, like clusters. Yeah. I thought the, I thought they were like broken up granola. No, it's like clusters. Yeah, we could definitely have tried these just kind of. Well, just try it by itself then. 
very quickly. Very good. We'll save this for later. I like this. One thing that always gets me about granola is that um, it's usually really good, but it always has like a lot of sugar in it. So is this one? Um, eh. It's fair in comparison, but. So it says eight grams of sugar. How much is serving? I forgot to look. Three fourths. For cup. three fourths of a cup. No. Not too bad. No. Uh -uh. Um, you can definitely take like. So it says sweet and salty clusters made with almonds, coconut, sunflower seeds, and pumpkin seeds. Yep. Um, it's very good up front. It is salty, very salty. Um, and I mean the aftertaste is just sunflower seeds to me. I agree. I feel like that with everything that has sunflower seeds in it. Like it uh, kind of overpowers. Exactly. Yeah. So, <clears throat> all right. What is next? Is Tanya done? Uh, well, I did it twice. Okay. Um, because I, I didn't. I didn't this turn is gonna go the... on Tanya when Tanya's done. Okay. All right. So the next thing, I'll be honest. I don't know if this is new. Okay. But I have never seen it before, so I got it. Tanya. Um, this, <laughs> this is uh Trader Joe's organic acai bowl. Mm. Acai? I don't know why I said <laughs> it. says it has strawberries, blueberries, bananas, this granola, and dried coconut chips. It is gluten free and it does contain coconut. The ingredient list on this is insanely long. I was just literally looking at that while it's you were like talking. It's like half of the box. That's crazy. I mean, everything is like. I, so, one, it takes up a lot of space because everything is organic. So, it's organic and then the uh, thing. Yeah. But there's no, still, there's a lot of, a lot of words. Is this all we're reusing? Uh... Yes. Okay. Um, all right, so this is what it looks like once it is cook cooked. You do cook it, but it's in the microwave. Um, once you heat it up, I guess. Like it's frozen and then... So what is this? Is this a smoothie bowl? Basically, yeah. So it's a smoothie bowl and they recommend that you microwave just a little bit to break it down first. Right, it was like a minute and a half, right? Yes, because yeah. uh, I guess it's frozen. Yes, Okay. I can't get this open. Um, so it comes with this, and then this is separate. It's like a little granola, coconut. Makes me neat too. Oh my gosh. What's wrong? There. Oh, I couldn't open it. Yeah. Oh. All right. All right where, where are we going first? So this is what this looks like. We can do this one first since we were talking about it. Okay. I put you a spoon over there. Got it. All right, ready? Mm-hmm. All right. I'm trying to get coconut. You just have to stir it all together. I just, I wanted, <laughs> was I not supposed to? I was it's just trying fine. to, huh? It's fine. Uh, you know what? I ain't, I ain't getting in trouble today. All right, here we go. Go. I said go. I immediately taste banana. I do too. It's not very thick. It's like a very watery. It's very cold. <laughs> it's so very cold. What do you mean it's supposed to be cold? I know, but it's like still frozen almost. It just tastes very watery to me. It does taste a little watered down compared to the other one, the Sambazon one that we had yes. before. Yes, yeah. Um, but it's also like twice the size of that one. So, I don't know, it's not bad. Uh -uh. Um, I do like the granola and the coconut on top of it. it does add some texture. Yeah. Yeah, I like it too. All right, this is brand new. Um, it's called Mrs. Bridges Strawberry Preserve. I'm assuming it's just gonna taste like straight strawberry jelly. Mm -hmm. um, but it is new to uh, Trader Joe's, so I thought we would get it. No chunky parts in it, so I'm excited. <laughs> Are you gonna tear some off for me? I was just gonna bite and give it to you. Uh, okay, no, go I can, ahead, I can, nah. I can, huh? I can share with you, it's okay. You know, it didn't sound like you wanted to though. It's okay, I will share with you. No, that's fine, I'll see how it is. <laughs> you guys. You don't want, you don't want my germs? I'm pretty sure we've shared plenty of germs. You ever see a scary movie when you're like, my germ, my germs? No. Okay, you don't know what I'm talking about then. It just tastes like strawberry jelly. If you like strawberry jelly, it, it's good. Um, yeah, it does. It's sticky though. But what are some cool things about this, right? Um, the ingredient list is barely on there. But <laughs> How about that? It's like three things. Yeah, so very short ingredient list. So that's that's a plus. I don't know who Mrs. Bridges is, but, but awesome like job. 
Awesome job. Ooh, look sister. at this color. <laughs> what is that? I'm not drinking that. <laughs> what is that? I'm not drinking it's it. It's turmeric nope. milk. Nah. Not happening. Come on. You're on your own. Why? I'm on me and Mrs. You and Mrs. Bridges? Or? Bridges and Tanya. We all going to do our thing. You want to try here. this one? That one looks fine. All right, we're going to try the turmeric one first. Who's we? We. Me and you. I don't want to try this. It's just yellow. It smells like nothing but turmeric. 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 Yeah, turmeric. Turmeric. It's, it's not tomb. It's turmeric. Turmeric. Whatever. Okay. So, um, I don't know if this one is new. I, I'm pretty sure that this one is new. I've never seen either one okay. in there. Yeah. Um, so, this is Trader Joe's turmeric turmeric ginger coconut beverage looks like this these are both shelf stable um and then this one is non-jerry non-jerry can't, can't okay talk today. that's it jerry <laughs> non-dairy chocolate oat beverage i always laugh when trader like all of trader joe's stuff is called beverages instead of milk yes and it's funny to me yeah all right why so, is that why is all their stuff called beverage instead of milk i think they're just trying to be safe in case Somebody like decides to. That's not milk. Yeah. Because it didn't come from a cow. A cow. Um, all right. So the turmeric one says coconut only, and then the oat one says nothing. There's no allergens. This is as far as allergens when you say only. Yes. Okay. Um, so gluten free, lactose free, dairy free, and vegan on the chocolate one. It says. Okay. All right. And then the this one says lactose, dairy, gluten, and soy free. Mm -hmm. All right. Whew. I think this is what, isn't there like a drink called like golden milk? I don't think, we've never made it, but I, I'm assuming like this is what this is similar to? Yeah. I think you're supposed to have that warm and this is cold, but. This is cold, right? Does it? No. Nah. No, it was uh, shelf stable. It says stable. beverage. Yeah. Does it give any recommendations? Open, once open, keep refrigerated. Use within seven to 10 days. Okay. Ready? No. Okay, go. Go. Because if I make a face, you won't try it. Okay. They're waiting. <laughs> <laughs> oh! 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 That is gross! It just tastes like turmeric mixed into water. <laughs> <laughs> what? Why? It's healthy for you. Is it? Turmeric is insanely healthy. No, I get that, but this taste isn't healthy for you. I do think that it would be better warm, but it's just not for me. <laughs> Come on, let's drink this one. Hurry. Okay, ready? Mm-hmm. Uh, that's much better. It's okay. No, that's much better than that. It's much better than that. It's chocolate. Okay. Okay. It's much so, better than that. So, you know what I'm gonna say. No, I don't. It's not as good as the Aldi one. I completely agree. This tastes too watery. Yes, it's very watered down. It has like, it's weird though, cause like, it seems like a little thick, but it's runny. Yes. Which makes no sense, yeah. but unless you try it, and yeah. then maybe you get it. No, nah, it's, I, I think it's, I think it's thick. I think really what it is is that the, the milk itself is thick, uh -huh. but the flavor is just not intense. So that it tastes like a light version of okay. chocolate milk. I get what you're saying. You know what I mean? Where's the other chocolate milk that we had? And I was like, it's okay, but it's not as good as the Aldi one. And you were like, you're full of it. Was that Walmart? I, I don't remember. We, we taste a lot of different. <laughs> I have no idea. We still just get the Aldi one. So. <laughs> <laughs> That's still no matter what it was. Yeah. All right. Um. So this is breakfast. I think uh, it's just yeah. Um, we we would recommend the granola. Okay. And the strawberry jam if you are at Trader Joe's and you need strawberry jam. Um, and then price. everything else is just like if you like that type of thing, get it. If not, then you're not missing anything. Would somebody tell me what I'm supposed to do with this? Because <laughs> I like stuff that's healthy, but this this I can't. Mm -mm. You're having a hard time like yeah. getting it back. But I, I wonder, feel like I want to. I want to like it. Like I, 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 I want to like it. I don't know. I don't. Why is it that color? I want to like it. It's turmeric. 
it's like mustard, like just <laughs> it's swirled like around it. inside. Of like <laughs> this is that's that's a hard part for me. I'm I'm very much a visual person too, along with texture, but. This looks like I'm just about to drink some mustard. Yeah. I bet you you could use this to make rice though, instead of water, like swap out the water to, and so you're not wasting it. Okay, I agree. That would be a great idea. Yeah. So maybe we'll do that. Back then, I mean like, in order to drink this. You're asking them to give you a recommendation for that. Like should, like, should this be blended with something? Like should this go inside of a smoothie? Or something like that. I do. I did say like I think it would be better warmed up like at night, like drink it before you go to bed type of thing. But even still, I get what you're like. It would be hard to get it back. Yeah, this would, unless I, you just chug it. I mean, I just. And you're like, okay. I was just gonna say that. Like I took a little sip and it was like I took a shot. Like this is this isn't it. Like no, yeah. I'm not. I'm not doing this again. <laughs> I'm not. I mean, it would be fine in smoothies. Maybe. I'll let you test it. Overpower it with like other things. Like coconut and turmeric, blueberries always wins. It does in the power of taste test. It's all right. All right, we will be back with snack time. All right, we are back with snack time. Um, there are seven things here, and let's just get into it. Um, so these are <laughs> what in the world? <laughs> Trader Joe's cauliflower crisp snack. So it looks like this. And the this light dish. always like. I want them to see what it looks like, but. Um, so it says it's with cauliflower, brown rice, coconut milk, seeds, and seasoning. So there is coconut. There is a may contain statement for a bunch of other nuts as well. It always throws me off, like when I'm looking and then I see milk and I'm like, crap, I grabbed the wrong thing. Uh, but it says coconut, it's milk, coconut milk. These, I opened it and I got like an immediate whiff of like. It's like, what happened? It's like cauliflower. Yeah. <laughs> Here's one. You don't look too excited about this. <laughs> Ready? So these are gluten free. Oh, it says it on the box bag. Ready? Go. <laughs> Why do they smell like that? It's cauliflower. Cauliflower <laughs> smells. They're good. I know. They're actually good. It's not bad. This would be great with like hummus. Or you don't like it? You're good. You nah. I'm not a fan. Okay. It smells like what it tastes like, and it smells like someone's. Feet. I don't think it smells like feet. It does not smell. It like smells feet. like feet. Yeah, it smells like. It feet. smells like cauliflower. No, it smells like feet. All right. This is. It smells like someone had cauliflower on their feet. <laughs> it does not. <laughs> what? <laughs> It also doesn't taste it like that. It stopped you from talking at one point. <laughs> it hit you in the face. It said, uh, take that. All right, these are Trader Joe's everything but the gluten crackers. Um, and so it says gluten-free Norwegian crisp bread. And there is none. There's no allergens inside of this. Uh-oh. Well, no top eight allergens, I should say. I am jacking on this packet. I can help you here if you like. <laughs> I, don't, I think I got it now. I'm all about it if you need a hand. Okay. <laughs> Are we good? Yeah. Okay. They're like little. All right, ready? Yep. Go. Mmm. It was fine at first, and then it's like a very weird. What kind of snacks did you pick up? <laughs> like seriously, like what is this? It's it's very natural, and uh, it's not so to me everything. What, what do you mean natural? Like it tastes healthy. Mm. Um. To me, everything but the bagel seasoning is very strong seasoning. Okay. Um, and this is very light to me with okay. that seasoning. I don't know. Does any of those two things have flavor in it? Whatever these are. Oh, you're gonna love these. Are you ready? I don't. I don't know. I'm, all right, no. No. Nope. So these are. Wait. <laughs> no. No. I don't want it. I don't want it. These are Trader Joe's brand new sparkling 
apple cider vinegar beverages. So they look like this. They are shelf stable, so they are in the juice area. This one is lemon and strawberry, and this one is ginger and lemon. Um, on the side of it, it says it is one tape sparkly water with one tablespoon of apple cider vinegar, and then whatever the flavoring is. Why are you looking at me like that? We drink apple cider vinegar almost every morning. But the expectation is that's gonna be gross. <laughs> so you why are you trying to flavor it now? I don't know, but here we go. Hey, whoa, whoa, slowly. You have you kind of been. Oh. Which one do you want to try first? What are the flavors? I couldn't even hear you. I just heard apple cider vinegar and I just ginger couldn't... and lemon and lemon strawberry. Ginger and lemon. Okay. Ready? Oh, we're tasting two different ones. We're gonna swap. Oh, you wanna like sip and then I sip and then we talk about it? No, and then it, sip and it, sip? This, we just don't normally do that. So I'm okay. I'm, it doesn't I'll matter. Wait. We'll do it one I, at a time. I just said we don't normally. It's okay. Go ahead, sip. He's sipping first. <laughs> <laughs> Does it taste like what I think it tastes like? It tastes. It, I think because we drink apple cider vinegar. This actually tastes good. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Taste this one. I, I don't I wouldn't recommend anybody who, who hasn't taken a shot of apple cider vinegar to drink this stuff. Well we don't take shots, we dilute it, but which one's better? Oh, this one by far. You don't even taste the, the vinegar, I don't think though, in either one. Yeah. <laughs> you do? You're hilarious. Uh, it's there. Yeah, I guess that that is why, because we drink it so much. You're like, oh, this is really nice. Let's get this one yeah. all the time. Um, yeah, I think if you're used to apple cider vinegar, though, and you want like a drink on the go that's like healthy, like. Or if maybe you want to start drinking apple cider vinegar, this would probably be a, a way to kind of. Ease into it. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good reason you know? or idea. Well, I like these. I like this one more, the strawberry one. Yeah. Okay, I'll save these for you to the end since they're cookies. I appreciate that. Actually, we'll do this one. Right. All right, this is Trader Joe's Chili Spiced Pineapple. So it looks like this. I'm assuming I'm gonna think this is very spicy. Um, I, I don't, does that sound good to you? What? Like, does this sound like something you would pick up on pick a normal? Pick up normal? No. No, not at all. Okay. I just wasn't sure. This is with all the other, Trader Joe's has a huge section, if you've never been, of like dried fruits and nuts. So this was with the fruit. Mm -hmm. It literally looks like a piece of pineapple <laughs> that's been dried out. Yeah. All right, here you go. Uh, one second, I just wanna make sure it's, we still focused. Oh, here you go. Ah, cool. All right, good? It smells spicy. Oh, you smell the stuff before you eat it? Uh-oh. <laughs> Somebody join the club. Okay, ready? Yeah. If you didn't watch the last video, Andrew smells all of his food, and we asked you guys if you also smell your food, and overwhelmingly, I was not winning. So, it seems like everyone smells their food. <laughs> you, you know what? It was interesting to find out that some people had purposes that were, like, I would have never thought of. Like, someone said uh, that it was, I guess, like, to their family, it was rude. Uh -huh. If they smelled food prior to eating it, yeah, like I never, I never thought of that. Yeah, it wasn't rude in my house. You smelt it, you know. You still had to eat it. In yeah, your house, though. <laughs> you were going to eat it anyway, so <laughs> you just set yourself up yeah. for failure. Yeah. All right, go. Yeah. This is weird. <laughs> what is that noise you're making? <laughs> ah, this is weird. It ain't spicy at all. It is just gross. Yeah, I I actually don't find it spicy. Oh. But the taste in your mouth is oh. like gross right now. It's in my nose and everything. Not just in my mouth. Oh my goodness, it's everywhere. Okay, these are 
Mm, get down. Cocoa chili spiced pecans. Or is it pecan? Let us know in the comments. Pecan or I pecan? I say pecan. Don't you say pecan? I don't know what I say anymore. Yeah. Um, this only contains pecans. <laughs> pecans. I don't know. Oh, you're All talking right. about in terms of allergies. Yes. Got it. Ready? Yep. Go. I think I like it. It's very co cocoa-y up front. And then the spice hits you at the end. Yeah, these are like uh, um, like roasted or something. They like they got a good crunch. Yeah, good texture to them. These would make an amazing dessert, like as like the base of like a a pie, pie or, or something. something. Mm -hmm. um, like blend these up instead of like uh, you need, like walnuts or almonds or something. It's usually sorry, it's my timer. It's usually done. Yeah. All right, so these are uh, not a Trader Joe brand, but it, a brand brand that is in other stores as well. Um, but Trader Joe's just started carrying them. Okay, okay. yeah. So this I was gonna is, say I recognize these guys. Yes, this is Partake. We tried their chocolate chip ones in uh, the Target video. Okay. Um, and this is Crunchy Sprinkle Cookies. Mm -hmm. um, so they had this and they had the chocolate chip ones and that's all they had here. But this, the actual brand makes like 12 different ones at this point. Nice. Um, so these are top eight allergen free, vegan and gluten free. It says it right on the box, there's no question. Um, but in addition to that, it is also on the side here, it says nut free, egg free, wheat free, dairy free, soy, soy free, fish free, shellfish free, mustard free, sesame free, and sulfite free. So it's way more than just the top eight. It's which free is of great. a lot of stuff. Yes. Um, and they're made in Jersey. Why would you say like, I guess people allergic to mustard or something? So I believe it's in the UK. You guys can correct me if I'm wrong, mm -hmm. but um, it, uh, mustard and sesame and sulfite are- um, Part of their top at, eight. But it's top 11. Got it. <clears throat> Got it, got it, got it. That makes a ton of sense. I'm about to say, if that's the case, it might as well start just sticking anything on here. From... <laughs> no, I'm pretty sure that's where it gets it from. Free of celery. All right, so, <laughs> so they are this size. Um, they're crunchy, they're not like soft. Um, and let's try them. Yeah. Go. Tastes like the last it's just one. A, yeah, just a crunchy cookie. Kind of a Funfetti version. Yeah. I do like the fact that there's a Funfetti one. I feel like vegan kids don't get like a lot of like sprinkles and fun colors of things. So yeah. um, the colors are, I mean, they're muted um, in the sense that like there it doesn't like pop. I don't even know if you guys can like see it, but it's just like a little bit of color. But again, like vegan kids don't usually get anything colored. So yeah. Um, that's like made for them, I guess I should say. So, yeah, I don't, I don't think you can go wrong with buying these if you like crunchy cookies. Yeah, for sure. I like them. Mm, so hit me with a cookie. Hit you with a cookie. All, All right. right. So, I don't think we would buy these again. You said you send that guy down there too. Um, I probably wouldn't buy these again. Nope. But, but they're good. Mhm. Mm um, if you like that type of thing. I want to try the other flavors that they make. Partake? Yeah. Um, but this was good? Yeah, this is good. Yeah. And I want to make a pie with these. <laughs> yeah, no, so I agree. That's where we are. And we'd also recommend <coughs> if you're into or trying to start drinking apple cider vinegar, these aren't a bad uh, a Way thing. to start? Yeah, place to yeah. start. All right, so we will be back with our dinner time. It feels weird. I feel like we're like, this video isn't that long. <laughs> like it's shorter? <laughs> yeah, it we feels weird. Have. We'll be back with like uh, snack lunch time and snack. dessert time yeah. and yeah, all these other things. Yeah. yeah. All right, we'll be back. I'm with you. All right, we are back with dinner and we have four things to try and four things to talk about that we're not trying. 
I'm down. Um, we'll just go ahead and get the things that we're not trying out of the way. Okay. Um, and then, so those are, it's basically four different like seasoning, topping type of things. Okay. Um, so Trader Joe's always has like really cool different like seasoning blends and stuff like that if you've yeah. ever been. Um, their 21 seasoning salute is my personal favorite seasoning for everything. A lot <laughs> he of things, laughs yeah. at how much I put it on. Um, but it's good. So this one is a new vegan one. It is Cuban style citrusy garlic seasoning blend. It sounds fantabulous. Yeah, it does. Um, it just has that like garlic, um, onion powder, lime juice, bay leaves, red pepper. So it's like, it seems like a little bit of sweet, a little bit of spicy. Um, it just sounds really great. Uh, yeah, I didn't, I didn't really hear any sweet in there, but I guess it's yeah. like the citric type of like limes and stuff like that. Yeah. That's is a, what I was thinking. Like more sweet. like a, that's acidic, but <laughs> okay. Um, so the next one is, uh, they just have Zatar. Um, hopefully I'm saying that correctly. Um, we have this in a recipe for our falafel bowls. Um, we put it in our marinated onions, mm -hmm. um, but it's great on things like that and rice. Um, there's lots of different uses for it um, that we can share with you later. <laughs> but, <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, but that's a new one that Trader Joe's has. Okay. Um, then this one is, uh, I think those are supposed to be like here to stay type of things. Mm -hmm. um, this one particular was uh, in a section with like their new seasonal type of thing. So this one may be going away. Okay. Um, this is black garlic, which I've never seen um, in like a, like a dried version yeah. of this yeah. personally. You just see it as like a fresh. Yeah, yep. so um, it literally just says, ground uh, black garlic and rice hull for an anti-caking agent. Um, and I like the fact that on this one, it says this is delicious on avocado to toast. 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 You actually did pretty good throughout the uh, video <laughs> once we got past the first section. But uh, here we go again. Yep. Um, in butter and sauces on vegetables and proteins or anytime you want an extra depth of flavor So I thought it was cool on this one. It gives you like a recommendation for how to use it. Yeah, I like um, that So that's that one nice and then finally a new product at Trader Joe's is hot hot crispy habanero habanero, habanero. Peppers in olive oil. So nice. it, whoop, it looks there. There we go <laughs> It looks like this um, it says very hot, very crunchy. Yeah. Maybe you can. Crunchy, very hot, very crunchy. Yeah. Huh. You want to open it? Try it, don't you? Uh, nah, I'm good. <laughs> All right. So this is uh, Trader Joe's spicy Mexican style riced cauliflower. Um, so it literally took eight minutes on the skillet. Like you literally just heated it up, basically. Mm -hmm. Um, it says that you can add a cooked protein and heat it for a few minutes longer. Um, Trader Joe's has a ton of vegan proteins like uh, soy riso and they have ground meat and they have turkey burgers that you could chop up. So lots of different things that you could throw in here and mm -hmm. season it. So I thought that was cool. All right, you wanna try it? It says it has tomato, tricolor bell peppers and jalapenos inside of it. It smells great. It does smell really good. Go. You didn't even wait for me. Sorry. It is spicy. Can I have that? <laughs> What's wrong? That water. Oh. Oh my gosh, it is spicy. Does this mean you're not gonna eat it? It says spicy on it. Yeah, but th sometimes things say spicy and they're not spicy. That is like, yeah. it immediately hit my mouth and like it's just staying in there. Yeah, you I mean, you, spicy, you, you want you? to go grab, huh? You don't think it's spicy, do you? Yeah, some spice to it, for sure. Some spice to it. I'm like over here, mouth on fire, and he's like, it has some spice to it. It was really good. What's wrong? Nothing. You're just like downing it. I'm like, oh my gosh, my mouth is on fire. Anyways, I like, I, I do like it. Don't get me wrong. Maybe you add the protein to tame down the heat a little bit. <laughs> so this is just cauliflower? This isn't actual rice? No, it's cauliflower rice. It's made with cauliflower, tomatoes, red bell pepper, lots of peppers, jalapenos, cilantro, some other spices, and that's it. There's no rice in there. It's wow. cauliflower. That's really good. You want to go make it now, don't you? I do, yeah. <laughs> All right. 
These are two new, Trader Joe's has a lot of different like to go, like grab and go um, burritos and wraps and stuff like that. They have just a couple of vegan ones, but now they have two new ones. Mm -hmm. um, this one is the vegetable samosa burrito. So this one has like a purple uh, label on it. And this one says it has, um, it says it's a vegan samosa inspired filling of potatoes, cauliflower, carrots, peas, with a savory spiced tomato chutney in a flour tortilla. So I didn't talk about, this doesn't have any allergens in it, I didn't think, no, that one doesn't. Um, this is a flour tortilla, so there is wheat, but there are no other listed contains ingredients. Uh, question. Yes. So I see some items over there. Are yes. those? It all goes to one thing. Okay. Any chance these, like what you think is gonna taste better? Is that, are we saving the best for last here? Or? I was thinking that. Okay, cool. I wasn't cool. sure about this. No, it's all right. I'm, I'm just, I'm just wondering kind of what we're, what we're doing. Okay. Just in case I need to bite that last because something else doesn't taste that great. All right. I get a whole half? I mean, I just cut it in half and okay. we're going. Ready? Yeah. Okay. Is it, is it, is it warm? Mm-hmm, it's really warm. Mmm. This is great. Mm. You can see, mm, there's food in my mouth. You guys can see like all of the it's vegetables. It. It's a ton of veggies. Um, but this is, this this is, is really good. amazing. I wanna keep eating it, but we have more. <laughs> gotta get through the rest of the food. Wow. All right, this one is called a super burrito. It has an orange label. It says this one is quinoa sweet potatoes kale seasoned with a Peruvian style aji amarillo sauce and wrapped in a chili onion tortilla. So I thought it, like, it, the flavor tortilla was like a nice little touch. Yeah, for um, sure. This one has soy and wheat inside of it. And what I liked about these was, um, my hair, sorry. Um, it, it was two minutes to mm -hmm. warm it up in a microwave. Yep. Um, you could also put it in an oven. And then um, it's good. It is very green. <laughs> um, and lots of quinoa, I see. What, what is this one? Uh, it says super burrito. I think super like superfoods. Yeah. Um, so it says quinoa, sweet potato, and kale with a, a site, a sauce, a sauce. A sa a so what is wrong with my voice today? Usa, 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 my brain usa. is not functioning. Ready? Yeah. Go. I like it. I like the flavor. Um, I will say that if you, I know quinoa is a big texture thing for a lot of people. Mm -hmm. If you don't like the texture of quinoa, you're not gonna like this one. Um, but if you don't mind it, like I, I like They're this hot. a lot. It's a um, hold. <laughs> oh yeah. The flavor is, uh, this one is a little bit spicy to me. He probably thinks there's nothing, um, but it's good. Sure, you still any stuff on? No, because I didn't taste it in that one. Huh. So I like both of these. I think if you're like traveling, um, we always talk about travel. We miss like traveling, guys. Um, but if you're like traveling and there's a Trader Joe's, like these would be great to like pick up and just like pop in a microwave. Yeah. Um, for you a want meal. These? Yeah, that's fine. All right. The last thing that we have here. I feel like I'm like covering everything here. Uh -oh. I'm put this off to the side. Um, so this is brand new. Trader Joe's now has a vegan, it says vegan bright, or bright, big, <laughs> I can't Whoa, talk today. We should just wrap this one up. <laughs> uh, this is a vegan taco salad kit. So I thought this was so cool because again, vegans don't get things like this very uh -huh. often. Um, so everything was basically in here and so I left it here so we could assemble it together. Um, so basically you have all of your lettuce. Um, it has like the cabbage and carrots. If you want to talk about what allergens are in there. Uh, ones that it says contains is soy and wheat. Uh, I can search and see. I think it's from this. If, uh, if anything else stands out um, here. So there was a container of um, seitan, it, well, so, soy riso. Soy um, riso. And so I just put that on top of that. And then there are three other packages. What does the front say? This It's a pico? Does the front of the bag say? Uh, let's see. Chipotle seitan, pico de gallo. Yeah, so this is, uh, this is the pico. Purple tortilla chips. Pretty I sure. gotta, I gotta get my accent better here. 
Um, but yeah, this uh, this looks great. I'm I'm all about this. Yeah. This doesn't look like most picos. Picos to me are like, uh, what am I trying to say? Pico to me is like uh, tomatoes and like onions and jalapenos. This is like a corn and black bean one. Yeah. And then this was this is a dressing, and it says what kind of dressing tacos, is it? Tacos, 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 tacos. Taco dressing? No, I'm sorry. That, I, I was like, that does not say taco it dressing. It says uh, and a spicy jalapeno ranch style dressing. Okay, so that's this. this uh, to be honest with you, this isn't something I would ever possibly get myself. I'm not into this. This looks kind of um, over the top for me. Like too much stuff. Yeah, this is cool. Don't get me wrong. This is this is a really cool kit, but should we mix this up before I put this on? You can do whatever you want. I'm not, you know. I gotta the, the bite I'm gonna take of this isn't gonna be very big at all. Why? It looks better when you mix it all together for you, right? Yeah. But you saw it first. Yeah. Got it. This is your fork. Um, and then this is just some blue. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not using that fork. I'll, I'll use this corn one. tortilla. <laughs> So. Okay, I'll use this one. All right, you ready? You, you just gonna act brand new on camera like you don't know how I am? <laughs> um, in addition to him being weird about texture and just random foods, he also doesn't like to use silverware that has stuff on it, even though he just saw me mix it together. It's just weird. Okay, are you ready? Huh? You ready? I'm trying. I'm trying to be ready. I'm excited. Like, Why don't you just taste it then? Okay. Hey, girl, good. Mm. You can toss it all over yourself. Mm -hmm. It look, mm -hmm. it looked like it's, it's nice. It would be nice for somebody like you. Try it. I would, I would get this for you. This is really good, especially if you like taco salads, and you can't get a vegan taco salad pretty much anywhere. You will like this. It's just too much going on for me. I don't, I don't I know. I will say, hold on, I have the receipt here. Um, this was, I don't see it. <laughs> oh, oh, price? Um, it was five fifty, but you got a whole taco salad, and if you walked into somewhere like uh, Salad Works or something like that, like you can't get a salad for five fifty and it be have like vegan meat on it. Does that make sense? Yeah. So I think the price is good for that reason. Yeah, no, I completely get that. I completely get that. I'm just... Get this, don't I'm just, mind him. I'm just, you know. I, look, you're absolutely right. I mean, if, if you're into this kind of thing, you know, it looks like it would be good for somebody. Yeah. It just like, not me, that's all. It's not my cup of tea or salad, bowl of salad. It's not my bowl of salad. I like it. Good, I'm happy. Mm -hmm. this, should, this should make you really, really happy. So then there's some other things we could eat and, and uh, we won't have to worry about like sharing or anything, right? Like, yeah, just... you can have that and I will have this. Sounds all right. Okay. So um, I just healthy, realized right? that I forgot something downstairs in the fridge, so I should. That we should be eating? Yes. What is it? It was a different salad dressing. <laughs> <laughs> So we'll cut and I'll go get that. All right, so this is, I have never seen this one. Um, this is carrot ginger miso dressing. Um, it says vegan right on, I'm like out of breath. <laughs> Why, what happened? <laughs> From running. Um, uh, it says vegan right on the label. Want to uh, speak? No, it's okay. Um, it has soy inside of it. I'm just gonna put it on my fork so I can try it. Like a... a sniff. It smells good. It's very gingery. Yeah. Um, I like ginger things though. Yeah, I think this this one would be good um, on salads and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, we've been putting dressings and stuff like on tofu. It's like a marinade too. So it could be good for like a uh, tofu. Tofu marinade. Yeah. Why not? Yeah, I like it. Yeah. All right. Uh, as far as the dinner stuff goes, I think that we would recommend everything. Um, we liked this a lot. Um, I think it's very spicy, but I would still eat it. Okay. Um, loved this, and then the burritos were great too. Definitely the um, samosa one over the super one. Super one. Yeah. Yeah. For sure. 
So this video will still probably end up 45, 50 minutes somehow. Yeah, well, crazy, I don't know right? how we do this. I don't know. Um, so, but we hope you guys like the video. Um, if there's another store that we haven't done yet, we would love to hear what store you would like us to do. Um, get over to Trader Joe's and try out some of this new stuff. Like, yeah. comment, subscribe. Yep. All of that good fun stuff. Every last bit of it. Anything else? Um, no, I'm just excited to see what's next. What are we posting next? I'm excited to see that. Do you know what we're doing next? No. <laughs> I don't know what we're doing next, but I'm excited. Oh, we do have- We have um, a lot of fun things coming up, I think. I forget like where this video lines up. We're trying the purple carrot box soon. Yeah, we'll be trying that, yep. Um, Curious how that goes. And my mind is just like, blink. That's all right. Either way, we have some stuff. You have sp I, oh, you have meatballs and spaghetti coming up. That as well? Yeah. It was out there, something else we were tasting, I thought. Oh! Thank you for saying that. It reminded me. Okay. The Daring brand, we are going to try. Um, uh, yeah, we went yeah, and bought yeah. all of their products, so we're yep. going to try all of the Daring chicken, and we also are doing a um, boxed mac and cheese taste test. Those yeah. are our other videos. Yeah, so it, <laughs> See? I, there you, you go. You helped me. Thanks. Yep. Um, so stay tuned for those. <laughs> all right, cool. Did you have something else? No, I, I, I didn't. <laughs> I just needed to inspire you to remember <laughs> what we were doing. That's what we're doing. All right, awesome sauce. If you have an idea, since we can't remember what we're doing, leave your idea in the yeah. comments below. Just in case we forget again, and we, <laughs> at least you can support us and let us know what to do. All right, guys, we hope you have a great day, and remember to smile. Peace. I was waiting for you to say that. Be the journey. Huh? What? It's, it's a cool runnings thing. You wouldn't understand. I've seen cool runnings. I just didn't remember that. Really? Yeah. Mm. Bobsled team. Just <laughs> <laughs> what? You at your like try in the accent is embarrassing. It's very bad. Well, what do you want me did to do? Did you say? just try to do an accent when saying <laughs> <No>. well? <laughs> yeah, you did. No. <laughs> <laughs> did you just try to do an accent while saying the word well? The only thing I can actually say is wagwan. I don't even think you could say that. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so I would give that up. Just like, don't do that ever again. Anyhow. I can't be like you, I'm, I'm sorry. I can't we, do every accent under the sun perfectly. We look, we're just gonna, we're gonna go ahead and, and end this video here. I should be able to do Thank you very much for a staying little bit tuned of Jamaican, though, and hanging with, with us for a little family. bit. But uh, we're out, all right? <laughs> we love you guys. See you in the next one.